Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. 24 hours. Generally speaking, 10 pounds of dry ice will last up to 24 hours in a standard 25 quart cooler, but there are a lot of factors at play. You'll also want to consider the types of food you're storing, frozen or refrigerated, the size of your cooler, any ambient conditions and the duration of storage. Let's help you make your mark. When dry ice melts, it releases carbon dioxide gas which could build up inside an airtight cooler and make it explode. Users must adhere to special usage instructions and safety precautions when using dry ice. Take our lead. Dry ice on the bottom of the cooler it is because dry ice is extremely cold and they can ruin your cooler. Then place dry ice over them using protective gloves. Although it is not mandatory, it's better to place another piece of styrofoam or cardboard over the dry ice blocks to keep your foods away from dry ice touch. Make your mark, take our lead. Dry ice packages in amounts of 5.5 pounds. 2.5 kilograms or less are allowed when used to cool non-hazardous perishables in carry-on or checked baggage. Meet carry-on baggage restrictions. Allow the release of carbon dioxide. Make your mark, take our lead. Handle the dry ice using thick, heavy rubber gloves. Cover the outside of the dry ice block with a few layers of newspaper, towels or a paper bag. This will add insulation to the block, slowing sublimation. Pack any airspace inside the cooler with these insulators, because the air can cause sublimation over time. Take our lead. Dry ice can be used with most coolers as long as there's a way to ventilate them. To ventilate the evaporating gas, the cooler should either have a lid that doesn't seal completely shut or a drainage cap, usually located near the bottom of the cooler. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.